Grade 11 Unit 3 Reading Page 25 Coffee Houses Where do business people go these days to find out the latest business news or to keep up to date with scientific developments? The answer is simple, the log on to the internet. 300 years ago, the answer was just as simple, they went to a coffee house. There, for the price of a cup of coffee, people could read newspapers, catch up on the latest news, listen to scientific lectures, do business, or simply chat about the state of the world. The European coffee houses of the early 1650s were mainly for businessmen, writers, politicians, and scientists. Like today's websites, coffee houses were exciting places to be, but you could never be sure that information you found there was accurate. In the 15 early days, only men went to coffee houses, because people thought that coffee was bad for women's health. Coffee itself was first grown in Ethiopia, where people chewed the beans. From there, it spread to Arab countries, where it soon became very popular as a drink. People liked it because it had an interesting taste and gave them more energy when they felt sleepy. The first coffee house in London was opened in 1652 by Pasquarozzi, who was from Smyrna, in Turkey. Coffee was an immediate success and large numbers of coffee houses opened. They became the center of social life in London. The servants of important men went from one coffee house to another and passed on the latest news stories about what politicians were doing or what was happening on the other side of the world. London coffee houses were very pleasant places, with their bookshelves, mirrors, pictures on the walls and good furniture. They were calm places where people talked cordially to each other. If anyone started a quarrel, he had to buy a cup of coffee for everyone in the coffee house. During the next hundred years, coffee spread to other Western European countries, where, at first, people drank it as a medicine. Soon it became a social drink, just as in Arab countries and Britain. In Kuwait, serving and drinking coffee have been at the heart of the country's famous hospitality for centuries. In Kuwait, Diwaniya is a place where conversations, discussions, and transactions are made over a cup of delicious Kuwaiti coffee. A guest's coffee cup is never empty in a Kuwaiti home, only when the guest tips the empty cup from side to side does the host stop refilling it with hot, black coffee. The beans are ground with cardamom seeds, which gives the coffee a distinctive fragrance. Coffee is still central to the ways people work, relax, and socialize in Kuwait, and across the world. Thank you.